How do I add other features? Code works, but it's not optimal. It says error. You exceed your current quote. I would definitely use OpenAI Whisper for transcribing. You didn't use new GPT 3.5 Turbo. You really need to make this interact with Bing Chat. The last Chat GPT voice assistant was handy, but check out this new one. Okay, Bing. What can I help you with? When was Midjourney V5 released to the public? Midjourney V5 was released on March 15th, 2023. Is there anything else you would like to know about it? GPT. What can I help you with? Write a diss song about how my new Python program is superior to my old Python program. It's got the power my old program's outdated. It's a coward. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the knife. I got a ton of great ideas to improve upon our voice assistant. My favorite idea was to add ability to prompt Bing. Bing AI, unlike any of the OpenAI APIs, has access to current data by searching the web for information that ChatGPT is not trained on. Well, here's the problem. Bing AI does not have a publicly accessible API for us to use in Python programs. I have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. This means unless we or someone else creates an API for Bing, we are confined to that piece of shit interface we all know and hate. So I went to where every developer should look for free open sourced programming tools, GitHub. GitHub has this project by a bunch of amazing Python developers that is an open source reverse engineered Bing API. Now that I know it is possible, how do we get started? First start by installing Python onto your computer if you have not already. We will want version 3.10, since OpenAI Whisper still doesn't support Python 3.11. We then need to get beta access to Bing AI. Once we can use Bing AI as intended through the browser on our computer, we just need to install the GitHub project from earlier. Let's do that by typing this pip command into our computer's terminal. Pip is a package managing software for Python that allows us to quickly install Python libraries. Now let's get Edge GPT set up as explained in their GitHub README document. As you can see, we need to install a browser extension called Cookie Editor. It says Chrome or Firefox, but I can only access Bing through Edge. So I will get the extension for Edge. I will use the export button to copy the cookies file. Within my code editor, which is VS Code Today, I have an empty folder where I will create the cookies.json file and paste the file we copied from our browser and save this file. Now it looks like I'm ready to create a Python file to begin testing this Edge GPT API. I will call it main.py. Now I can follow the developer demo instructions. It looks like we will need to load the JSON file we created. So I will copy the reference code below and then specify the cookies file path as they described. After that, I will hit save and let's test it out. As you can see, it prints out an entire Python dictionary variable with a bunch of data we don't need for a voice assistant. So I removed the print statement and added this code block from line six to 11. The program will now take our prompt input in terminal, then print the cleaned up response from Bing. Now we have the response, but it has these bracketed numbers that serve as links when using the Bing website. This will just have our program reading random numbers that aren't relevant for voice interaction. So I imported the REAKA rejects library. Then using this line of code, we can remove the unwanted links in our text response. Great, now we have the Bing AI API functioning perfectly for our application. Let's make the program run on a loop so that it keeps answering our question until we quit the program manually. In Python, this can be done by wrapping the code in a while true loop. It will return a clean text response from the Edge GPT API now. Next, I want to make the program take voice input with a wake word. I will be using OpenAI Whisper locally for transcribing audio to text. To do so, I need to install Whisper on my machine. Then, I will upgrade Whisper to the latest version. Finally, I will install FFMPEG using the brew command as specified for my operating system. I will also be using the speech recognition library for recording microphone input, since Whisper does not have that feature built in. So, let's install that. I need to import the Whisper and speech recognition libraries. Then set up the recognizer object and create a wake word variable, so that it is easy for you guys to change to a wake word of your choice later. Next, I will write this function on lines 11 to 15 that will be able to check if a voice input contains our wake word. I then wrote this block of code inside our main function on line 20 through 41 to start our program recording from the microphone. Transcribe the voice input with whisper and check if a wake word was spoken. If the wake word was spoken, the Python program will continue. All right, so this is what the program should look like so far if you have been following along. At this point, we need our program to have text-to-speech capability so that it is 100% voice interactive. Instead of using PyTTSX3 for local text-to-speech like the last tutorial, 
I want to use an API that gives us a way higher quality voice from our program. I will be using AWS Polyneural Engine to create a realistic text-to-speech voice. To do so, I need to install and import the BOTO3 library for accessing AWS services, as well as the PyDub library for playing the MP3 file that AWS will send us. Let's write a function to create our text-to-speech using Poly. I will be using the voice called Sally. There are many voices available from AWS Poly. By setting up a free AWS account, I can play with Poly in the browser to find the voice that works best for me. They even have a ton of language-specific voices for non-English application. Make sure you select the neural voices, as that is what will give us the best quality voice and the engine specified in the code too. Let's import the BOTO3 and PyDub library. I also need to import playback from PyDub. I now need a short function for playing the speech file with PyDub. Now I just need to call on these two functions to make our program speak our responses with a realistic text-to-speech voice. I will do so on lines 63 and 64 for our program to verbally request our prompt after it has successfully heard our wake word. Then again on 97 and 98 to speak our response from Bing AI. That was a lot of code. Let's test it to make sure I got it all working. Okay, Bing. What can I help you with? How cheap can I fly from Los Angeles to New York next week? Sure, I can help you find some cheap flights from Los Angeles to New York next week. According to my search results, the cheapest one-way flight is $59. Perfect. I now have a Python voice assistant that can access Bing and give me intelligent answers to recent events and news. Well, you may have noticed I prompted the ChatGPT API in the intro as well. I want to be able to use Bing for questions that need to search the internet to be answered. And when I want a faster response with the better creativity from ChatGPT, I can prompt the ChatGPT API. Since I already have a fully functioning voice assistant, all I need to do is set up a second wake word so the program knows which API I want to prompt. Let's write these lines in the getWakeWord function we made earlier to do that. Then I can install and import OpenAI. Now I will initialize the API by passing in my API key. To get a free API key with a free allowance of prompts from OpenAI, sign up and create one on OpenAI's website. Then copy your API key and paste it inside the quotes. Once we have done that, we will write this else statement containing a code block to connect to the GPT 3.5 API and get a response to our voice prompt. Now we have a complete voice assistant that can prompt Bing when we say Bing and chat GPT when we say GPT. If you want to compare your code, I have included a link in the description to a GitHub repo. I will see you in the next video.